Oh, I think we should just one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, whenever you want to get started, okay. I call this order at 7 p.m. We'll now take roll. Commissioner Amelie? Here. Commissioner Emily? Here. Commissioner Abensia? Uh, Commissioner Ada, Commissioner Carmen, Commissioner Madden. Here. Commissioner City. Here. Uh, Commissioner Zar. Here. Commissioner Palace. Here. Commissioner Ria. Here. Commissioner Anusha. Here. That's everybody. Okay. Uh, do we have any oral requests? Nope. No oral requests. Okay, we'll now move on to approval of last week's minutes, which was April 11th. I motion to approve. Okay. All right. Say aye if you approve. Um, Commissioner Emily? Aye. Commissioner Emily? Aye. Commissioner. Uh, Commissioner Madden. Aye. Commissioner City. Aye. Commissioner Zara. Aye. Commissioner Palace. Aye. Commissioner Bia. Aye. Commissioner Anusha. Aye. Okay. Uh, do we have any announcements? No announcements. We'll now move on to old business and go to the South Bay Monday. Okay. Got our last event this Sunday. Ending it with a bang. So, um, yeah, I just want to kind of go through roles and kind of what to expect from the day. Um, most of you guys filled out the survey. So, thank you for that. So, let me run through what I got from that. You can let me know if this is still correct. Um, people that are coming at 11.30 to help set up, I have Amelie, Ria, Simone, Madden, Zara, Aiden, Carmen. Has any of that changed? I'm not really sure exactly. I might be able to come a little bit early, 12.30. Oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll get to that. Here. This is 11.30, so those were my 11.30 people, and then uh, nobody at 12, maybe Palace. Um, 12.30, I've got Emily and Palace. Does that still seem correct? So I'm going to get my job covered that day from my manager and his being stingy. Yeah. So I don't know if I can come. You know, if you can come at all or come early. I'm going to see if you can try and come, but I can't come at that time as of right now. Okay. And then I have Anusha coming at 1 o'clock. Anybody else able to come that I didn't mention early? Yeah. And let's see. So then um, the people that can come early, that's great. And then I can help set up. Um, I printed out a few maps of what the event's kind of looking like right now. It's still a little bit of a work in process, in progress. Um, you can see over the uh, the lines at the bottom some of the stuff that got moved around. I quickly typed over <laughs> to <laughs> make a new edit, but it was a PDF, so I couldn't fully edit it. So the bigger words that are on top are what got moved around. Uh, so, yes. uh, so you can see this is kind of the layout of that the event will be like. Uh, our boots are going to be, I think it's, uh, it's the popcorn and hot chocolate and then photo booth and the craft booth. So those are kind of three main tables. Um, so we're going to need everybody's help um, kind of manning those tables and just kind of being there for um, help 
the photo booth isn't going to really need anybody there to do anything. Just kind of be keep an eye on it. If something happens, then you can let me know. If something falls over, or I don't know. Um, the popcorn and hot chocolate table that will be again just kind of standing by, um, letting me know if the popcorn gets low. Um, maybe scooping popcorn into the little bags that we have. Um, hot chocolate will be a similar setup to what we've had here. So it's very kind of do it yourself. So kind of just monitoring that as well. And the crafting station will be um, lanyard stuff for keychains and also some origami paper. So that will be just handing that stuff out making sure we don't give out too much so that we don't like run out after the event. <laughs> um, so that will be the extent of, kind of those tables. Is that gonna make sense to people? So I broke it down into 45 minute chunks. So, and I just kind of assigned people pretty randomly. Um, for who's gonna be there. So from like, two to 245. I've got uh, Rhea Simone um, and I had Emily, but we'll put a question mark on Emily. Mm -hmm. um, from 245 to 330, I've got Ada, Carmen, Anusha. Um, 330 to 415, I've got Zara, Pallas. Um, and Belicia, will you be there on oh. Sunday? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, then I'll probably have you at that time. Um, and I'll send you guys all this information before and an email too. Um, and then 415. What um, is it? I'll get to you after. <laughs> um, 415 to 5, I've got um, Amelie and Madden just as kind of time ends. Um, it'll probably get much less busy at the end. So um so that's kind of what i'm thinking then you have a 45 minute time block to kind of help at the tables a little bit and then the rest of the time you can be hanging out and enjoying the rest of the event and then um there'll be some anyone who can hang out afterwards they'll clean up that's very helpful makes it all go a lot faster i don't think it'll take more than an hour um after the event for cleanup stuff. So, yeah. Any kind of questions about that? Again, I will send all the final details and the final like time um, slots for everybody else, and that all out to you guys. Um, how many people have like signed up? The like? I think we have today. It was at like forty-two. So it jumps up a lot, like each day. <laughs> and, uh, it always people always wait till the last minute. So I think that Danny from Cupertino said, like for the Bovatino event, like they went from like twenty to the last week, it went up to like two hundred. You know, like oh, wow, <laughs> people like okay, Cupertino. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely, when you're telling your friends, tell them to register ahead of time. Um, that's gonna help us, you know, check them in faster when they get there. Um, Cause you'll see there's a in table um, cause the rest of the area will be kind of like fenced off. So people can't coming in from the public and stuff. So it's really gonna be like a teens only area, so. Um, I had a question, is the video done yet? You know, um, the marketing one? I don't think so, <laughs> yeah. That was uh, yeah. <laughs> out of my hands, but um, the print extra flyers today. So if you guys want to take them to do an extra push around school, post them anywhere you can. That's great. Um, yeah. Any other questions about that for now? Um, is that it for the yeah. Okay. Um, any questions? Any public? Okay, yeah. Um, what's the Saratoga one and Saratoga two? That's just their tables that they'll oh. be setting up. I think Danny didn't know exactly what they were 
yet. So he just put those in as placeholders. Um, but I think they're going to be bringing a bunch more snacks and they said like otter pops and nice. other stuff. So um, are we confirmed for Love Unleashed? Like, do we know what animals? <laughs> we are confirmed for 10 animals. Wow. So five are coming for the first hour and a half and five are coming for the last hour and a half. Um, I have no idea what animals they are, but I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> Any animals. Yeah. Just bring them. <laughs> So yeah, so that's really great. They seem excited about it. So that'll be a fun one. Any other questions? Any public comments? <laughs> okay, I will now move on to the spring fun. <laughs> great. I uh, just wanted to hear from you guys how um, that went. Those of you who were able to be there to help volunteer. Start. Um, <laughs> I volunteered for I think it was like first two hours on Friday to like hand out um, the shirts and everything to the people who were participating in the run. Um, people seemed to come and pick up their stuff. It was a bit like slow because it was like right after school, so like people were still coming in like slowly. Um, but everything was set up fine and there was nothing, no problems. But. Yeah, there's a few other people there. That's fine. Uh, I volunteered for the next shift after Zara's. Um, it was pretty slow as well, but uh, it ran pretty smoothly. Um, nothing else. Did <laughs> <laughs> anybody do the actual like fun run? I don't think anyone was able to do it. The busy time of the year, I know. Yeah, definitely. Um, so thank you, Zara and Rhea, for being able to be there at least for the day before. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, hopefully next year it can be back in February when it's a little bit easier for us to plan out and help us. So. Cool. Uh, any questions? Any public comments? Okay, uh, we'll now move on to new business starting with next year. <laughs> next year, so it is our last official meeting, everybody. Um, so I just wanted to kind of get some feedback from you guys. If you have any things that you were like, oh, I wish we had gotten that done this year, or this would be something great to do next year. And I just have some time to talk about that a little bit. If you guys have any thoughts. Step to the job fair. Yeah. I think that's a really good thing for you guys to do next year. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is uh, instead of coffee and politics, you guys can do a different scenery of like food or anything to get more engagement from teens. Um, I think like we did have that problem of like, oh, it's coffee. So um, if you guys have other ideas, maybe boba or like smoothies or like maybe not pizza and politics because that's a whole different thing. <laughs> um, any other type of food that can engage more students and trying to get it, getting that out there because I think it's really important that like teens get their voice heard with our local government as well. Definitely, and I think expanding upon that, I'd like to do a voter registration drive next year. Oh, it's an election year, obviously. Um, but I think overall on the general theme of increasing engagement in our events, I think a big problem is that like the events, like the, the venue, like whether it's the, at the community center or somewhere else, it's like a lot of people either can't drive or they don't really want to, because it's kind of pricey right now. Um, so I think it would be good if we did some events at schools. I don't know if that's possible, but maybe we could have like uh, at the College and Career Center does career talks, maybe we could have the, um, maybe a few city councilors come to one of the schools, uh, CUHSD schools, and, and talk about, you know, what they do as local government and opportun opportunities for teens, like, you know, like job opportunities and other stuff. And In terms of um, general event feedback that we learned from this year, I think, um, for especially for events, um, having like smaller like venue areas, 
um, especially like as we noticed with the it was the, like the study hall one. Yeah, there's like a lot of chairs, but not that many people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just keeping that in mind for next year. And also, um, I think I mean I know social media is great, but also like in like physical like flyers at schools and making sure like you're talking to your teachers and getting them to like in and out to the students and stuff because students are obviously going to pay more attention when they're like forced to pay attention to class yeah. or like a couple of my teachers have had me just like stand in front of class and just be like hey this is you know what the event is this is what we're doing please show up thank you um and just doing that like they're forced to pay attention instead of social media where they can just scroll yeah so I highly recommend doing that so yeah with that I know it's a little nerve-wracking to stand up in front of a class full of your peers but I definitely recommend doing that just because like only said like they are forced to listen to you and they are forced to be looked at you <laughs> so i would just be that one person um it's going to be over like a minute of you talking um but it's also just practice on public speaking and also just trying to promote an event um efficiently so. i don't know if you have a budget for this but i remember <laughs> i remember like um before like covid like actually getting like a, like a postcard or like a flyer like in the mail like to the college um, or like the job fair um so like maybe you could do that i know it might be expensive but i don't really know no, no i think that's a great idea but you just thanks for raising money and i was yeah. gonna bring up a point um do you like fundraisers for the commission you guys can get more money and get pretty cool merch <laughs> and then second of all you guys can use that money towards events and towards specific things in the commission i feel like that's something that we just didn't do and we didn't really like take that into consideration so i'd say like any sorts of like big sales i don't know if we're allowed to do that but like big sales um donation based like things um explain like what it's for and then we'll get money it's also like fun to like be like hey like or teens, like, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> like, we, like, I know for leadership, like, we had to guilt trip people together. <laughs> that's funny, but yeah, that's when you start saying, like, oh, I don't have to budget for this. I was like, the answer's no. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's our motto. Do we have a budget for? Yeah. 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 We have to put that on our shirts. <laughs> yeah, it's back on our shirts. The budget level is zero. <laughs> I think the safe space is in that definitely um, would be something to prioritize um, with the library too. And I was also thinking, um, I was like visiting my friend like like almost a year ago now, and we like put like sticky notes like around her like the like downtown of her city like that would have like nice messages on them. Anyway, so I that kind of made me think like it'd be kind of cool to do like some sort of random acts of kindness thing or like. Um, Maybe just like putting messages like that, like um, in downtown or like in the prune yard or like someplace where people will see them, like school and stuff like that, like um something like that. That would also advertise like the commission as well. We did um, an event last year and it was kindness week and we combined it with it was us, Cooper, Tino, and Saratoga. Saratoga. Um, I think that you should bring that back. I think that was a really good event. I thought it was really cute. Uh, we had like a raffle at the end we had like a whole week planned out and like um i know some people were uh, in charge of certain like days and like one day was like write a message on the sidewalk of chalk um there was another one i think we did like a mural of like sticky notes they wrote a kind message um i think we had like i know we, i don't know if this was kind of people we had like a yoga thing or was it like mental health or something it was like, oh, is that different? No, I'm thinking of a different event. But um, it was just kind of sweet. It was like cute little things that we did throughout the week. We had a video. It's still on the commission, like Instagram. So if you guys like have not seen it, it's a really cute little video. But um, definitely bring that week back. I think it was really cute and successful. I think um, two things. Number one, um, for events, using raffles and like raffle tickets mm -hmm. to keep yeah. people there and like to get people to go yeah. is a very good idea. And number two is um, maybe for like the actual Instagram. Um, I know we discussed like um, in terms of like we we're talking about the job fair, like um, talking about jobs on our Instagram and like making it like so teens have the resources available or like the website. Um, and I think for the website and the Instagram, we could add more resources for like minority or like LGBTQ students. So it becomes more of like like we're promoting our events, but also we're making this like seem like you know the youth mission is a place you know where you can get resources and help teens just in general.
I had an idea for an event. What if we did like an Easter egg scavenger hunt around the community center or the park? We could. I don't know. I feel like. Yeah, I think we can. Is there? Oh. Is there a way to plan for you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can help promote it. Yeah. <laughs> if that's something they're interested in. Too. Yeah. And uh, maybe working with the other commissions for the city Campbell a little more. But I know that's hard this year because they're like half online, like for the first half of the year and everything. Mm -hmm. Next year, if we were to do like um, events in combination with like other cities. Would they continue to like be online? You mean the meetings? Yeah, because I feel like it'd be like way more helpful if we were able to like talk to them in person. Yeah, know. maybe there can be like more initial meetings in person. I think it's just hard to line up schedules. Because, we had some politics a couple of years back where we had an in person meeting in like Cupertino or something mm -hmm. like that, which is like it was a little far, but it was really good to like get with everyone and be able to share ideas. Yeah, we can definitely make that more priority for the combo events. Um, I know before the pandemic, we did a lot of partnerships with like other branches in the city, like the um, recreation department, and then the um, I don't know, I think it was like the careers department for the job fair. But typically, we wouldn't just do the job fair on our own. We'd partner with a division in the city, and so I feel like that's kind of like really helpful for advertising. If we're collaborating with another group, yeah, I think it would be a good idea to like, um, like, um, like volunteer opportunities because I know um, a lot of people um, want to volunteer and do community service, or they need to for um, like CSF or they need hours or something. So, um, like, giving resources for that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe making it so like you can get community service hours at our events somehow. Yeah. Also, we discussed this at the um, talking of politics, but having like city council member um, like speaking events. Mm -hmm. I think Madam, you kind of mentioned this too. Yeah, I'm trying to think like also kind of remember, like also being able to just talk to them. Like if you want something, like it's happening. Like just talk to them and like um. Discuss your ideas, discuss your thought process in a mature and respectful manner. Um, but definitely just talk to them and like have those events. Definitely plan for the next year because I will not be here and you're going to be online. So, <laughs> better show up to our events. I will. I will show up. <laughs> I, I don't care if it's in the middle of my semester. <laughs> yeah, definitely do stuff like that, guys. It's really important. Any other ideas? Um, I have just a few recommendations. I know like this year kind of could be more virtual for the first half, but I think like maybe holding a few more events in autumn and winter might make it a little bit easier on like our uh, resources and it might like hopefully, I guess work like a work to help us get our name out there a little. Because like I feel like for first half semester we were sort of inactive this year and then like we kind of had to rush and fit in a lot of events this semester, which I mean, like it worked out, but <laughs> spreading them out would be a lot less stressful. I did. I really like the format we did this year, where it was like I feel like in past years we just tried to do like a lot of events at once. Yeah. Um, and then also, um, like in the school email that we get, like the Westmont Week Weekly Bulletin or whatever, um, how they have like youth mission advertisements, those are really good as well. Yes. So I think continue doing those two things for sure. And there's like a lot of these letters, like there's the oh, yeah. <laughs> there's like the district wide ones, there's like the college and career ones, a yeah. bunch of them. Yeah, just getting the name out there as much as possible, sharing it on your Instagrams, telling your friends to come. I always tell my friends to come, even if no one shows, I'm like, you guys gotta come <laughs> every time. So make sure you're doing that. Okay. And then um, another thought for like events like coffee and politics, maybe having like a different structure or a little bit more structure might be helpful. I think we mentioned this earlier, but like if you're to repeat all the politics, instead of just having it be a QA, it would be more just like sitting and listening, like or watching a YouTube video and just like no any different. Um maybe stuff like if we had um discussion cards and then like rotation, like kind of a rotation where you go into like one space one group of people and discuss their topic or um like talk about um, active citizenship or like 
um, or just like yeah, do learn a bit with like a um, voter, yeah, just inform or maybe like another app breakout room type thing. No breakout rooms, but those Zoom, like a group discussion where you learn a little bit about like elections coming up. That might be helpful, like a specific structure. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> um, Commission TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, short little videos explaining an event. Might get some people interested. I know we have, like, I brought the idea of having more like TikTok videos for ASB, and honestly, people watched it because it was very short, simple, and people understood. So I feel like it might be harder for the Youth Commission just because, like, <laughs> like, like, for a school, like, there's like one person who follows them, and like everyone from the school would like know that. Yeah. Like, person, and like, like, they also have accounts and everything. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like, for the Youth Commission, like, it's not like we have like a huge network of like every team in Campbell or something like right. that who like know like where to find it or like know it exists. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I could see it being a good idea, but also it might not work. Like, yeah, I can so. see it. Like I don't know. So with that, those TikToks don't just need to be posted on TikTok. That's they can also be posted on Instagram. Yeah. So they can so it can reach reach out because obviously not everyone has TikTok. Okay. It's just a good way of one adding it to a different platform but also just applying just like short little things that people can look at and be entertained by because like i know with us like obviously not everyone has tiktok and for for we and so what we do is like we'll make the tiktok and then we'll post it on multiple social media accounts we'll post it on snapchat instagram tiktok um we have a twitter but we don't use it oh my gosh. Like, um we post on different social media platforms and apply to those stories so people can look at it and be like, oh, this is happening. So, yeah, just an idea. <laughs> I think maybe also um, having kids understand exactly what the youth commission is, because I know I've told my friends about some of the events and they're like, what's the youth commission? So I think maybe um, explaining like what our, like what our goals are. And I know we have a website, but um, promoting the website. Yeah. Do we have the website linked on our Instagram page? Yeah, it's on Linktree. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, because the website's really nice. It's really good, like resource. It's cute. Mm -hmm. uh, you see our little pictures on there. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But definitely keep up with Instagram because I know I feel like this year, like we've been able to kind of get in it more since then, especially like with our um, the little like local shops. Definitely recommend doing that again. It really like it doesn't really take like that much time. Especially um, I know we have like multiple people working on it, and like it can be a lot to have like one person, but like if you have like a couple people write up the captions, but then like you just like okay, here are the pictures and here's the captions, like it's pretty like relatively simple thing to do. Like it really, it's actually kind of fun to go in Campbell and like take pictures. Yeah. Fun. We're yeah. Also, like, <laughs> Yeah, and we got, I think we got good engagement on those posts, so mm -hmm. I recommend. Those of you who were part of the commission last year, what did you think of the difference in the subcommittee um, structure? Where last year we had like, what did we do? Um, it was like your social media mm -hmm. subcommittee and then like the environment community. and like, everyone kind of had a different yeah. category they were stuck to, mm -hmm. where this year it was kind of like just more event-based. Um, how did that go for you guys? Did you like it, not like it? Um, I am like this year is better because I feel like you got to work more as a group rather than um, like in prior years, I always felt like there's some level of separation between all the members of the community that we were each kind of like doing our own thing rather than like working as a team. So I just preferred it this year for that reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. So like in prior years, it felt like there were five separate commissions because there wasn't a whole lot of communication going in between the group work and together and turn out events and everybody at the time. So there wasn't like a whole lot of cooperation going on. And we sort of felt like stuck to one category. Even if we did have interest in an event about like somebody else was holding, we kind of really like push across and help with that. I think it's nicer because it's more fluid. Um, I think also last year there was a lot more events, but they were like smaller scale and like less people showed up. 
on the also might have been because it was online, but it was definitely <laughs> like a like there's like an event every other week or mm -hmm. every three weeks or whatever. So it was a bit more like a lot more. There's a lot to do. Yeah, yeah. I think um, this year was a little bit like less like stressful just because like online like you have two subcommittees and like there's two kinds of subcommittees you have to like balance it out like okay I have this event going on for the subcommittee and there's a specific committee that's happening and you're like wait whoa um so I think that like this year it was like nice because it felt like okay I could be more engaging into like the specific event um how am I going to work with this event um I think the only thing that I really liked about the last year's subcommittees was definitely just like being able to choose and knowing what I was signing up for instead of like, oh, okay, this event's happening. But I like this one definitely way better than last year's. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. I think um, one of the downsides of doing it this way. That I found this year, I think it was tough for us all to talk and pick exactly which of the events we wanted yeah. to do yeah. this year. Um, I think that's what started us off really slow at the beginning because it was just like change. everyone had lots of ideas and it's hard to like yeah, get those all I narrowed know. down yeah. and all actually start going. So, yeah, to think about a better way of doing that. You can kind of, I guess, let them learn next year because you can say, like, okay, we're going to have like the beginning of your meeting like you have one meeting and you're just gonna be like here's all the ideas and we're gonna narrow them down and that's what we're gonna do like for yeah. sure yeah because i feel like we had a lot of we were working i remember we were working on those like general statements too and so we kind of had more like broad ideas and so just being like hey let's choose like how many like 10 events we're gonna do this year but like that's a lot but <laughs> <laughs> like seven events and then we're you know here everyone present your ideas everyone you know talk and whatever but by the end of this meeting we should have like seven events we want to do so that way you're not stuck and um behind when you want to get started mm -hmm. yeah yeah definitely yeah like maybe make a list on the whiteboard and like move the ones up that people want to mm -hmm. and then yeah and then like divide them up by semester yes. yeah and also like combine ideas and stuff like that yeah okay. any other Yes, thoughts. Oh wait, okay. It's just another quick thing about advertising on Instagram or like doing activities on social media. So there's all these like link posts with another account, and then I feel like if we want to do partnerships, then that would make it easier to advertise across. Yeah. yeah. So like if we're doing another thing like highlighting local businesses, we can link like the business's account or the city's account. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Uh, any questions? Mm -hmm. Comments? OK, I will now move on to calendar reminders. Um, so we've got South Bay Fun Fest on May 15th. This Sunday. Um, the event start is from two to five o'clock. Um, those can, that can show up at 11.30 for helping set up is great or any time between 11.30 and two. Um, and then, yeah, that is it for our last events. Oh. <laughs> and we have the city council oh, yeah, we have council presentation. Yes. Um Amelie and Emily will be presenting to City Council on May 17th. In person. In person. Ooh, a little Anybody wants to watch online, yeah. subscribe and follow. <laughs> <laughs> or come yeah, you can absolutely come to City Hall and watch in person as well and be when, there for support. Uh, Next, Tuesday. 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 Okay, well, uh, now we can do one's around the table. So who wants to start? I can go. Okay. Um, so I have finals coming soon, which is stressful. <laughs> but 
even more stressful is my brother coming back from college tonight. Oh, so it's a lot. Yeah. Where does he go? He goes to UPenn. Oh, oh nice. nice. That's a good coast. Pretty far. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can go next. <laughs> Yeah, so I finished my last AP test today. Yeah, I was really relieved about that. And then, um, like yesterday, it was Mother's Day, so like I went to the Rose Garden to photos with my mom. And, that was nice. oh, nice. and then, like, we bought her cheesecake Ooh. at like set from the mall. It was at a Japanese bakery. And so when I learned that like Asian desserts are far better than any Western. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a very nice day. Was it one of those fluffy cheesecakes? Yes. Yeah. Those are so good. <laughs> oh. Those are so, so good. Okay, um, so kind of same for me. I had my last AP test day and our math teacher. Um, like we had students bring in snacks for um, the AP testing, everyone brought like a bunch of donuts. So, <laughs> yeah, and like somebody brought a homemade orange cake and they had a little bit of that. That was really good. So, yeah, it's a good day. Uh, we have state testing next week along with Health Good Week. Uh, so, it's going to be an interesting week. <laughs> um, well, yeah, while like, well, like, doing AP testing right now, I'm two thirds of the way through. So I'm Happy about that. Um, I had a fun Mother's Day. We had, had dinner with all my family, all my extended family. Uh, we had like this Korean all you can eat barbecue. So mm -hmm. yeah, that was a lot. Um, and I'm going on this, I think I told you guys already that I'm, I'm interning for Senator Gortesi this summer, mm -hmm. but I'm going on this like bus trip to the Capitol next week. So that'll nice. be really fun. <laughs> and that's it. Cool. I think so. I had either a test final or AP test in all my classes last week. Oh. It was so fun, but I slid them all. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, so I'm just going to be done with that. I just have my AP line test tomorrow, and then I'm done with three out of six of my classes. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I went to BUF finals for swim, which was fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I was, I, I kind of did not want to qualify because I didn't want to go to the next meet. <laughs> but um, I qualified. Um, Very well. But it was fun. I, I don't regret not going. Um, and then prom is this week for me, so I'm a little stressed out with that because ASB. ASB. It's not, I'm not, not in ASB, so I'm just helping out with planning and like figuring out a lot of things. And then, uh, so it's a Saturday. So Friday. Yeah, I've definitely had a lot of stressful things, but like the next two weeks after that, I'll be done. Um, yeah, I'm close to the end, guys. <laughs> we are. <laughs> um, I was traveling to, and I saw my friend in Ellen Lee Nights. Um, House and I saw each other at our AP Psych. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, they, they ate like, I don't even know what they were. They were like these like chocolate chip like bars. Yeah, I was thinking of granola bars. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't exactly good. They were like, they, they were, they were interesting. <laughs> they weren't good, but they oh. were food. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. food. We would eat so. I think at school there was the same thing. Tastes like a hard bar. <laughs> Yeah. The people sitting around me were like really loud and noisy too, which was really noisy. Yeah. Like, and whistling and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I think they're trying to get back at the doctor because she was. Really she was so. She was yeah. very rude. Yeah. Like in these stats, he was rude, but like he was. He was he was like way nicer than her. She was so rude. I had her again for my um AP was history, and I'll have her again for lunch. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, she was anyhow. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna like see my friend again for like a week. I'm going out to her house with another one of my friends who lives around here, and that's gonna be really fun. So I'm excited about that. And I'm figuring out my summer too. I'm gonna see my family who I haven't seen in like five years. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do an internship. Uh, um, at the SFDA. Um, What's that? San Francisco <laughs> District Attorney. Oh, oh wow. Cool. I'll be a commuter. That's going to be wrong. Oh my but gosh. Yeah. That's so exciting. Um, on Saturday, Carlos and I have our choir concert. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> I don't think either of us are ready, but we have dress rehearsal on Thursday. So, yeah. yeah. 
not much has been going on. Oh, um, I'm in middle school right now, but I had a high school cheer child, and I that was really correct. <laughs> so I had to practice, and it ended at 6 50, and then I rushed over here. Oh, <laughs> Um, I have finals, which is not fun, uh, but I'm going to um, like the Mona Vista's prom, which is on May 21st. I think. Is that the one that's on a yacht? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. 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 Um, I just, just staying on with that. I think you just stay there. Yeah. <laughs> That's still so pretty. Cool. So cool. <laughs> but every other school seems to have like this amazing prom venue, and our school just did like this old one. Where were you so going? I don't know. I know we it already happened. I don't remember the location, but it was like low ceiling. Oh, but it was like a small wedding venue in the Yeah. Oh. oh. Westmont is at the park, so it's not much better. Yeah. Ours <laughs> is pretty cute. Ours is Saratoga Wondery. I don't know. Oh, okay. yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. You're not complaining about it, though. It's pretty. Yeah. Please don't hit it. Julie, we skipped over you. Um, just lots of year end youth commission stuff coming on. <laughs> All the applications in for next year so interviews are next week and then um yeah just wrapping up the last events and uh just kind of focusing on that right now <laughs> we're gonna get through that um summer It'll be nice okay. but i'll miss you all okay. Okay, well, for all those that want to have a table, I'm going to officially, what's it, officially end. I just forgot Adjourned. words for a second. I'm officially adjourned. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Have <laughs> 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 okay. so, uh, a last year's commission meeting. Have a last year's commission meeting. Yay. 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 Yay.